Today I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of the uh, Midwest or um, location um, outhouse or workshop, not workshop, some people here refer to it as an outhouse, I refer to it as a workshop. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm more of a, a tenant of the space than it being my space because this would look a lot differently if, um, I guess I do have control of the space, but I haven't really, <laughs> um, it, it gets predominantly used by others. So I just kind of stay out of the way with it. Um, but oftentimes I think of, I should send everyone in here to clean it up. The people who are sharing it, cohabitat, cohabitation, roommates, whatever, shed mates. So just a walk through of some stuff that's in here. Um, some street cones. Um, these here are for cryo shippers. They are uh, lids. You know, um, they get they get worked on here as well. Some weird stuff. I don't know what this is. I have no idea if this pole. This actually might be for the patio, like a canopy. Because we have a canopy set up out there, uh, or the the patio. Some some ladders here. Always never uh, go without one of the, at least one of each a dolly and a hand truck. Uh, those lifesavers. In fact, I was using that hand truck to move around 50 pound boxes the other day for someone. Uh, they needed a hand, the ladder, spools of cable. Um, the cables is not mine, so I don't know specifically. Uh, if it's just like Ethernet cable, but I know there's more technical terms for that, so don't kill me, please. And then just kind of interesting how whatever was going on here stopped, it looked like. <laughs> and then we have um, a workbench. At this location, there's an indoor workbench, which is in the main area, and then there's the, the shed workbench. Personally, um, I would have this organized a little bit differently and it's just kind of a little bit willy nilly here. Um, and then what I drives me crazy sometimes is seeing redundancy of things. Uh, so you have the, we have a drill, drill press there. That doesn't drive me crazy. And I think we have a second one inside somewhere. The vice, uh, that tool for bending, breaking conduit, cutting, I should say. I'm not sure what that is for. It's not plugged in. Does anyone know? There's a Sawzall up on the wall. I have one of those um, in my other location. That is, no I, no, I don't actually. It's good to know that's here. Under the bench, two miniature shop vacs. I did spot one at the other end by the door. We'll get back over to that. Oh, and what wouldn't be a shop without a fan? Clearly doesn't really get used. Hmm. I'm gonna keep an eye on that fan. <laughs> keep an eye on that fan. I should imagine it gets hot in here. There is, for the winter, there is heat, which is good. Tons and tons of uh, packing peanuts, if you will. Garbage cans full of cables. Uh, looks like Pelican cases used to ship equipment. A lot of packing materials here. See, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't leave this stuff piled like this here. Uh, utility closets, um, power. It's a heck of a um, box for just this shed. So I wonder what else what else, or if it's set up for machinery and there's 240 volts somewhere in here. Uh, just some shelving. Again, it's not, this is a big space so I can understand how things kind of get laid out willy nilly like this. And from experience, the, the people who are kind of in charge of this aren't OCD organized like I am. Um, you guys have seen, I've well, maybe you haven't, but I've done a video um, at my main location, my garage. It's a, it's a much smaller space than this, but um, everything is tidy. Tougher sometimes to access, but everything is accessible 
and has a purpose and a place, a logical place. This is probably for, that's interesting, ice baths. I think ice goes in there, or dry ice even. A couple more ladders, pallets. You know, it's funny you see these pallets on the side. Like I, um, I kind of, you know, stop and ugh, cringe because early, early when I was a teenager, um, I spent about what, six, seven, eight years working for a supermarket uh, in New Jersey area where I'm from. And one of the rules was you never, ever, ever put a pallet up like this on its side for safety reasons. And uh, then I see this. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to me. Here's the, the big shop vac. Big boy here. And just, I don't, I saw this the other day, I'm not quite sure. Clearly, looking at that outlet, that's uh, two, uh, 240 volt. Don't know. I don't see the 240 volt outlets in here. So it kind of negates what I was thinking about with the electrical panel. All right, well, this is just a quick walkthrough. Those who have been uh, have asked me about it, uh, I think this uh, room, if you will, is underutilized in terms of space. But then again, there's really not a, if you really organize this stuff, there's not a ton of stuff here. Like those boxes, I'm sure, are empty. And uh, those U line boxes, who know? Like I would have all the um, packing materials, like I think in an area like maybe over here and create some bins for them and not have them like intruding on the workshop area. Um, and then over here, this is kind of wasted space. I'd have all these, la all the ladders together, like all the, the shop vacs together. You get the idea. Um, I would probably even use those pallets to um, stack stuff on. Like there's just r random piles of boxes for the, so inside the, the building, in front of this building, there's a shipping area and that's what those boxes get used for and obviously the packing stuff, but it, it, uh, it just needs to all be in the same area. Uh, this is where sometimes as, as boss, as the final boss, does anyone know where that reference is from? As the final boss, um, sometimes you need to step in and maybe force them to clean house a little bit back here. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you who are in the workshops and shop areas, I thought this might be interesting. Not for anything else, really, uh, just to kind of talk about it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment and like. And uh, certainly, if you are a fellow YouTuber and you want to share your shop or your workspace or something you have access to, definitely like to check it out. Um, there's nothing really too inspirational in here, but I definitely always like to look check out other people's shops and whatnot. Uh, workshop areas um, for organization to, to make my workshop area even more um, organized than it is. And again, this is not primarily my workshop. So this is uh, uh, kind of a communal space. Thanks. And we'll see you next time.